Hi guys, hello Mary Me Survey. It's Michelle Marie Tony and Dory is here today. Uh she's a little fragile. Uh so Aww, she's I'm got cold. a sweater on. <laughs> yeah, well I'm tired, so um this morning we tried to do a video. I was gonna do a B cast of the soup kitchen. It did come out pretty good, but unfortunately I don't think the soup kitchen really might be the best consistent place to do videos. Today is the 29th of January, and it is time to discuss that most rotten time of the month, the next week's next month budget. As you will see, you've already seen this budget before, mm -hmm. and I will read this to you, my audience, because unfortunately, I don't have any way of zooming in on it in detail, so I'm going to go through and read it to you. As it is right now, um, I get 1232 a month in Social Security. Okay, it's my total income, plus 131 hours of food stamps. That's that's food. That's not income. Uh, my rent is seven hundred dollars a month. My electric bill. We haven't actually got the bill yet because we're not in arrears. I estimate it's about 110. It better be because otherwise I'll explain why in a little bit here. Um, I don't have dish network anymore, so that's not an issue. My cell phone, right now I do not have any money to put into it at this point. Doesn't mean I may not, but just at this point I do not. The internet is $56 a month. The home phone is $99.45. The, the telephone total is $155.45. Total utilities is $965.45. We get into the personal needs. We got laundry is nothing's gonna be doing. Laundry mats at zero. Buying clothes is zero. Hair care we estimate about sixty dollars. Cosmetics is zero for this month. I put a, I put twenty dollars each month into my savings account, leaving me with total personal needs of eighty dollars. The now we get into account of creditors, liabilities, and if you remember from accounting in high school, you probably know this is accounts payable. We have our medical insurance is $24.30. PayPal credit is $40 a month. PayPal seller's fee is zero because I haven't been selling on eBay a long time. Care credit is zero. Portfolio, portfolio recovery, which is a former deck collection. I just never removed them from the column here, but it's zero. Call Me House DVD. Those DVDs have been purchased. That's zero. Capital One is $50 because I fell behind uh, and actually went over my budget. Dress barn is zero. Fashion bug is zero. JC Pennies, I can't afford to pay them, so that's zero. First premiere is twenty-six dollars a month. Student loans, because the income contingency reform deferment is zero, and of course the IOU, which goes to another debt collection agency, is twenty dollars. Total liability is one hundred and sixty dollars and thirty cents. Subtract all the expense or add up all the expenses is one thousand two hundred and five dollars and seventy five cents. Money left is twenty six twenty five. Now you probably wonder why I bother giving you my personal budgets is because I depend on the subsidies from you and not only in the form of your donations and contributions, but also because I collect social security disability and therefore I as so well any federal agency i am required to divulge my income for your information so there you go now um this month i do have to get my new id because my life my id expires and that's going to cost me 2250 which i'll probably have to take out of my electric bill i'm on rent i'm on um energy is um uh, um winter protection so i'm it's not that i really want to but i need to so Boom, takes care of that. And the, um, what else? I got, I was going to buy something for the computer with a PayPal credit. I don't know if I am or not. I don't know yet. I'm going to find out. So anyway, that was the budget. That was what I promised you first. And I said I would do it for you in the 29th. I would go through the budget. Um, I did a test with Dory before we started today. And... I showed her this light bulb 
on. These are the former studio lights and see how her eyes reacted to this bulb. And I'm going to let her describe how she felt with this in her um, when she was looking at this thing. You can hold it. It won't bite you. That's a lot of bulb. <laughs> it hurt my eyes. It felt like it was burning them. Yeah. Yeah. It's because the glass is so thin. The ultraviolet UVC was coming out of this glass. Yeah, but it's really bright. I mean, it, it it's really bright. It hurt my eyes. Yeah. More than these things, that she, the ones that she has up here. Big condescents. Mm-hmm. They're bright. Technically, these are brighter, but they also do another side advantage. Is it's a yellow light, so it's not quite as um, painful. Um, it also provides something you probably very much would crave right now: warmth. <laughs> it's um, it gets really warm in here when this lights are on um, because of the infrared of the incandescent light bulbs. By the way, the um, and people at MIT are designing a new incandescent light bulb. I don't know if you know this. This bulb has an interesting habit. It actually reclaims the heat that would normally be wasted and sends it back to the filament to use it as light. Hmm. Um, at this point, it's still a prototype, but um, it's still pretty good. By the way, one thing about these bulbs is the fact that we don't use them because of what you just said. It doesn't hurt my eyes. The fact that it really, really made my cataracts a lot worse uh, when I was using these things in the studio. And uh, the other thing, too, is they contain mercury and other really toxic things that are bad for you. And uh, uh, that's, that's the reason why we don't use them. By the way, the reason I'm, we, I'm, I like it when Dory comes is because you guys seem to like it when Dory's here, too. Because uh, you guys seem to have more higher viewership than when it's just me or Lomi. Yeah, because I think they like the, sec I think they like the second person. Um, maybe it's a little more dynamic to them. Yeah, maybe. Um, by the way, um, I wanted to, um, tell you I, I, I trying to get myself back into financial shape and physical shape. Uh, Dory knows what I'm talking about with the physical shape. Um, I put on a lot of pounds when I was at the Yellow House. And, uh, I've been trying to... Um, eat better, and that's one of the reasons I think I'm tired. Um, but it's a very common when you're trying to lose weight. So that means I must be doing something right, right? Right. Well, not only that, of course, is it's autumn or it's winter, and there's I'm not out in the sun as you much. You can gain weight when the winter time. And uh, so it's dark, and I. Um, see, even I enjoy going out in the sun a little bit and when it's cooler in the day and it's not too hot. Um, so, you know. By the way, we are going to be, um, once the weather moderates and becomes warmer after the spring starts, um, uh, we will probably be setting up to do videos out on the porch instead of in the house. Uh. I haven't really quite figured out how to do it yet, but we will figure it out, won't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's the right. Now, that's something we're planning for the uh, the summer times to do. By the way, Rusty the cat's doing better. He's healing up. He's getting back to his old big feisty self. He's still built like a brick shit house. You can't miss him. He's a big cat. Uh, he's not fat. I remember when I when first when he started to grow up. I thought he was putting on weight because of uh, food. He was putting on weight because of testosterone uh, as he was hitting puberty. And uh, now he's a full-grown cat. And he's, um, for Tom, he's pretty well-behaved, I have to admit. What do you think? Yeah, very well-behaved. He doesn't, doesn't like me, though. Well, yeah, okay. He doesn't. He doesn't hate you. He doesn't like me. He doesn't attack you. I have two cats that don't like me, mine and yours. Well, maybe my cat doesn't like you because maybe he smells the other cat on you. Anybody want a cat? I have a 12-year-old cat. No, I got a 12-year-old cat, too. His name is Fame. I don't want this cat. Anybody want it, they can have it. 
Maybe you should ask me over there at uh, Primetime House. I've been asking. Yeah. Yeah, well, fame is still Mr. Lubby Dubby. Kitty cat lays for me. I was curled up in the bed. It's time to take a snooze. I was reading up all the different news and the elections and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I have to be honest. I got to tell you this, guys. Does Donald Trump realize that the Bilderberg group wants to kill him? Um, it's true. Bilderberg group wants to kill Donald Trump. Who? The Bilderbergs. What's that? That's an international organization of the elite, of the elite, rich, rich stats that want the one world government and they see him as a big disruption to their one world domination plans. Over so, let me ask you a question, Bilderbergs in the Davos group. This is this. Why do you want to rule the world so bad? Honestly, why do you want to rule the world so bad? I mean, that that would suck. Think about it. Have to worry about everybody's bullshit? Getting into everybody's business all the time? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to rule the world? And as far as the United States, you know, as far as Donald Trump goes... He's doing great, and I, I got a feeling Donald Trump is going to seriously get shot on the Republican National Commission if convention if if he gets the nomination. He's going to end up getting shot, just what happened to one of the Kennedys in 1965 at the at the L.A. Democratic Convention, because he's got he's dem, he's upset a lot of the the well-to-do people that can money laundry. I mean, when you money laundry, by the way, what kind of detergent do you use? Because every time I try to put a dollar bill in the washing machine, it always turns out into shreds. Um. <laughs> you, we, we changed. We used to use Tide, but I don't know. We didn't like that anymore. We used. Per, I don't know. Perel, Perex, Perel. Is Purex better for Purex? That's what we use. Purex is better for washing money, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I know. It's, I know. I know. Tide does go to coins. I don't know, but. Partially being serious, actually, because unfortunately it's flu season. So let's talk about that real quick, <laughs> because I think I'm coming out of cold. Um, again, I well again, I didn't have a cold last time. Oh yeah, I did not too long ago, right? Yeah, well this. Don't forget the soup kitchen is a giant germ factory. You know that. Um, I don't even sit with anybody, but the. The bacterial viruses, the rhino virus, is probably still running around in the sip kitchen. Besides that, there's been under a lot of stress with this campaign, watching what's going on. Uh, so, also the the Zika virus, the Zika virus. Um, do you know anything about that? No, I'm no, tired. There's a new mosquito-borne virus called the Zika virus. I don't know much about it either. Just know is that a lot of people have had. They say now it's migrating to regular mosquitoes, which um, may make it even harder to eradicate the Zika virus. Apparently, it causes uh, uh, babies to be born with brain deformities. Hmm. Um, that's what I've been told, and I've been keeping up. I haven't really been keeping up as much as I should, but okay. So let's see what else we got done about. Oh yeah. Um, as I was gonna say in this morning's vlog, I didn't get a chance to give it to you, so I'm gonna let me just say what I'm going to talk about is. I'm thinking about getting back into um, working on some of the comic strips and stuff I was working on when I was back in Litchfield Street. Uh, for those of you who have never seen my comic strips, uh, there it was called From the Harpy's Desk, which I think you may know about that one. Um, it's, a, it's a comic strip that I created, which tend to cover um, the events of... Michelle Marie and Mary Helen and their life in Avalon and um, dealing with the real world issues of being a, a lesbian couple. And it's 
It's pretty interesting. Would you, ever see one the, would you like to see one in the comic strips? I can show you one right now. Sure. All right, so let me pull one out of the archives here. Uh, older comic strips are still available on my computer. They are actually on the hard drive. I wanted to show you. People don't realize they can draw. This is the way we used to draw the comic strips. Like this. Let's see. Hand drawn, just like that. See? And um, that took a lot of time to do. This is my original notebook. So. Then, as I got more and more savvy and computer technically inclined, I started to migrate. And this is the example of the last one that was ever drawn, which is. And, uh,. We talked about the immigration thing, and I happened to realize that I got comic strips here that are perfectly discuss immigration. And uh, let me see. How far back do you want to go with this? Um, I think go back to here. Um, I think uh, you can read this. Um, this is just a shortcut as how I managed to cram four strips into one page. I was being very miserly. You can see that here. And you can take a look at that. I don't know if you can read it. It's got easy read captions on it. And, um... I can't see that. I don't know and you can see, as look at the st story here in the detail. The pictures, the quality, the wood grain, you can see the metal rib setting in the bus, the... The um, the outdoor umbrella at the the coffee shop called Java Home, the door, the reflection in the window glass. Very cool. Show them, don't show me. Yeah. So, this is the uh, way we were starting to get really high tech with the comic strips, and um, they were getting really, really. Uh, You're a publisher. Um. I don't know who published them. I, I tried to get them in the newspaper. They didn't want them because that wasn't a known artist. And I said, well, you know, I said, that's a crappy excuse. I said, because... Um, I like this one because we talk about ISIS on ACL and, and all the refugees. And um, what this is about is about just that. Um, which I, you can, I mean, you might even enjoy reading it. I don't know. Um, that's, um, that coming strip there was actually, it's about immigration. And, uh, it's very dark humor in that one. It's not really a very, I thought the most of the comic strips have a tend to have a dark humor to them. Um, but, um, the Walmart one, I love the Walmart one. The Walmart one is one of my favorites. And, um... I, I kind of got these things out of order now, but they're pretty cool anyway. And, um, let's see. And then I started working on, um, illustrations. And I did this one for my father and Father's Day, the last one on the bottom here. And, uh, oh, that's not this one. No, no, this one before it. It's one before it. Yeah, okay. Um... My father had passed away, and I did this for him in the bottom here. And the line that's the most important is the one that says, in the end of the video is, Well, I'm just a living legacy to the leader of the band. My dad was a construction worker and a furniture maker. Now I am putting my skills to work for you and me. When I come up with will help future home construction workers. And then Mary Ellen says, when will we begin um, testing materials, begin building? And, of course, Michelle Marie says, tomorrow. 
uh, morning will begin after I get sleep. Um, this is, you know, just a lot of work was done with this. I'm doing this. Um, it's the most, the favorite picture. Um, the favorite picture, and there's this, and I got them all messed up, so you're going to have to think, I'm going to always shovel through this here, okay, guys? Because this is, there's a picture in here that is so awesome. I lost the original because I forgot to snag it when I, when I left Litchfield Street. And that was a huge mural, a color mural of this picture, which is three foot by two feet long. Oh, that's nice. And that's in full, was in full color. Mm-hmm. And, and it was in Show the audience. Yeah, I will. Okay. You can see that we have the the shadows and the clouds and the, it's a country town and it's really cool. It's, it's kind of a place that I would like to be. Nice spring day, nice spring weather. And by the way, when it was the herpes were added after the picture was originally um, created, and by using some trickery in technology, so the original doesn't have them sitting on the road here. Mm -hmm. It was just um, just a road. And I woke up one morning and I got inspired, and I just grabbed my markers and my pencils and I drew it and sketched it. And then after I sketched it, I said, now let's put it, let's make a color out of it. And then I brought it into the computer, which is so big that my Parmac, or my iMac G4 had, um, iMac, no, it was my iMac G3 had a hard time keeping up with the artwork. Um, importing all the colors in and adding the clouds and the colors and everything. And this was just amazing. And I still love this picture to this day because it's just it's so awesome funniest things is some pictures which seems to have kind of a non sequitur or sort of kind of kind of uncanny images um now bear with me for a minute because some of these pictures are really really um interesting let's see if we can find the other one here this picture Mm -hmm. was entirely out of my mind. That's nice. That's Elmira. Elmira. <laughs> Elmira, princess. Yep, yeah, that's her. The, um, it may not be easy to see in the pink paper, but that's what I had to draw in at the time, and I sketched that in pencil, and that is the original. Ed thought it was his, ex his daughter's mother, and I said, nope, that's not Cindy. Today, oh, that's, that's nice. That's you can see she's kind of got like a uh, a coffee cup in her hand. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and uh, what else do I got here? Well, um, let's see. I used to get my paper and supplies at Flake and Newberry in Torrington. They're gone now. So unfortunately, I can't get my supplies at Flake and Newberry anymore. So, um... I have to buy everything now over, um, from, I can probably buy some of the stuff from Michael's, um, in Torrington. Oh, this is a better picture of Elmira. This one might be easier for you to see in the camera here. Um, we printed this one on white paper and, uh, what do you think? Mm-hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, last night me and Dory started doing this uh, broadcast, and then we kind of fell asleep. <laughs> That's what I and, said. And <laughs> uh, so instead of leaving you halfway in the lurch, wondering and listening to everybody yawning away, we decided to finish the broadcast today. We also noticed that unfortunately last night the exposure was a little bit off, and uh, the film was already in a can, and I didn't want to reshoot, so we just decided we're just going to add to what we cut out, and then, um, so that way we don't have to repeat everything. So, um, what did you think of my artwork, um, from what you saw? Your artwork, I liked it. It was very good. You thought it was pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. 
You told me last night you were surprised that I could even draw. Mm-hmm. I am one with many talents. Yes, you are, Michelle. You're one in a million. And, uh, now, what do you think about my budget that I showed you earlier? Um, which I think I still have sitting on the table. I think you threw it in the, with the other stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I have to rehash the budget again. If those of you who want to see it, I will make a, um, uh, a link available for you to download it somewhere, but I haven't decided yet where. Uh, that was something we were also were going to talk about last night, and I didn't uh, get into it. And that was what about um, what are we going to do to um, expand our communications of, um, abilities? And uh, one of the things that is being discussed um, is to restore my website so that you would be able to. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all right. Don't worry Sat about on it. my wallet. Anyway, um, let's see. What was you doing with the budget like mine? 21 something, 23 something dollars after all the bills are paid. I mean, how would you handle that? What? Well, shit, let me get my budget sheets because I need to put it away. I. See, I have, I don't have as many bills as Michelle does. I don't have as many bills as she does. So, yeah, one of my says the budget sheet. How in the heck could you ever live on that money left over? I couldn't. My money we left, left over we discussed at the beginning of the video, um, which was... I can't. Probably give you a worst case of the ulcers you could ever imagine. Well, anyway, so... I, um... I gotta get my ID card. I'm gonna have to take it out of my electric bill, I think. I don't have a choice. I need my ID card if I'm gonna go vote in the primaries. And I do want to vote. So anyway, we, we, we started doing the video, and like I said last night, we kind of just post, kind of start dosing off, and we slept in, and um, and then I woke, we woke up, I think you know what, don't ask me what time it was, I said, about 9 o'clock at night, and she was like, we slept for all those hours? <laughs> I said, yeah. That's because you're tired. See, here's why the reason that happens. In case you, and by the way, let's answer your question. Um, you asked me one time before. You said to me, quote, you sleep because you're depressed, right? Mm -hmm. You said that to me once before? Mm -hmm. What if I tell you that's not necessarily always the case? Mm -hmm. Sometimes people sleep because their body... Um, when the sun goes down, they kind of, their body kind of starts to think it's time to punch the clock and go home for the night. Um, I think that was what happened is because between keeping an eye on all the stuff going on with Obama and uh, Trump and <sighs> Hillary Clinton and Alex Jones and Ammon Bundy and all the other stuff that I've been following in the news. It was just... My brain just basically just wanted to take the last train for the coast. Um, I just, you know, I just need to rest and take it easy. Because I don't want to give myself an ulcer. I'm already... By the way, I'm going to be 48 years old, for those of you who do not know that. I will be 48 years old on the 13th. And Lumi will be about, about the same. <laughs> the same. So. Well, Lumi's the 11th? Well, her, Lumi's birthday, she celebrates it, is on February 11th. And we, we couldn't we, we do anything with the year because she wanted to use her year of 18, 1835. Or 18, what is it, 1835? Yeah, 1835. The problem was, is. 
he tried to look that up in the calendar, and most programs will not let her enter a year of 1835. So we had to fudge it and say that Lumi was born two days before me in 1968. 1835, yeah, that's right. 1835? Yeah. So She's over 100 years old. Yeah. <laughs> she is. She's actually over almost 200 years old. Long time. Well, when it comes to street smarts, Michelle knows more than me. <laughs> True. Okay. Um, so Dory and I were walking around Winston. She asked me, she said, what is to do around here for activities in the Sunday, on Sunday morning? And I I really can't remember what goes on in wintertime because I don't think R&B Sports World is open now anyway. I heard rumors that they're closing. I don't know if they are or not. I hope not. But... Um, that's about the only activity I could think of. But the thing is, is it's winter. I don't think they're open in winter time to go run the, the go karts and things like that. Probably spring, summer. Yeah. Or the batting cages. And uh, I suggest the uh, Dory about going duck pin bowling. I don't think she was too interested. Bowling, yeah, I like to bowl. Maybe when I come back, because I'm going to go to bingo with my friend. Maybe when I come back, I'll do that. Well, what time are you going to bingo? One o'clock. One o'clock. Well, he's coming here at eleven. He's coming here at eleven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we can see. We're gonna find out what time they're open. Uh, it's not too far away from the hardware store anyway. So, you know, it's, um. By the way, um, Rusty's doing better. He's um. He's not on the injured list as much anymore. You surprised how big Rusty's gotten, huh? Rusty? Rusty's got him real big. He's big, he's muscles. Yeah. That's what testosterone does to you. It's the same thing with human men, it's the same thing. Same chemical, makes them big and bulky. Also tends to make men and cats moody. But Rusty tries not to be moody. Rusty don't like me very much. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't know why. So some cats don't, I guess. All right, anyway, so we just wanted to apologize for yesterday about getting the video cut up abruptly and um, and finished so what we left off. And so, um, for now, we're going to see you soon. And by the way, are we still waiting for your comments? We haven't heard anything from you. What well, gives? What do you think of the videos? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Yeah, let us know. Do you, need, do you think they need new ideas? Do you need new direction? You know, this is your chance. We've always said you can always leave us comments. Let us know. We'll look into them. Good point. So, for now, we're going to let you go. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hey, did you know there's a lot more going on right now at our rate websites? Are you watching all four of them? If not, check them out. There's a list right here. We got three YouTube channels and one audio-only channel for your enjoyment. So come on and dig in and see all the stuff we do here at the North American Snow Queen Palace.